Hey Stampers, Diane Dimmich here with DeeDeeStamps.com and today I'm just going to give you a little tutorial on how I use our, our brand new product, the Envelope Punch Board. Um, this is a great product. We learned a little bit about it at convention. Um, I did have availability to it the last couple weeks. And so it gave me some time to play with it and find out some different things that you can do with it. And I have several videos that I'm lined up. I'm going to show you how to do some of the items that I have made. Um, and I'll show them at the end of the video. So anyway, what you're going to do with the Elmo punch board is there's a chart on here. And you're going to select what size card you want. And the card that I'm making today is actually down here. It's your regular base envelope card, four and a quarter by five and a half. And so it tells me that I need an eight by eight inch square piece of paper. So I went ahead and cut a piece of pistachio pudding, designer series paper, eight and a half square. And then the next measurement tells me that I just need to measure it at three and a half. And so if I come into my punch board, oh, and I need to pull out the score tool is nicely tucked inside there. Hit, measure it at three and a half, punch down, and score, and then you're going to turn it. And now the next time you're going to do it, you're not going to measure. There's a little tiny, like, arrow thing that comes out. In fact, I'm going to get it out of close so you can see it. See that little thing right there? You're going to line that up with the score marks. And so I've got it lined up to the score, punch down, and then again, score. And then you're going to turn it and do the same thing. Line it up with that little arrow thing. Punch down and score and turn it. Line it up with the arrow thing. Punch down and score. And you take that square piece of cardstock and depending on which side you want on your inside and which side you want on your outside, you just fold along the score lines. And you probably should make sure that you have pretty good score lines. Oh, one thing I forgot to show you. On the top here is another corner rounder. So if you punch down on that, it's going to round the edges of your envelope flaps. So I'm going to move this out of the way. And just quickly show you how you bring those two flaps in and that one up. Add a little adhesive. I'm just going to use a little um, mono adhesive. Here it is. So I just add a little adhesive here and a little adhesive here and flip that up and there I've got a great envelope. And if you don't like this little peak sticking up here, the one thing that you can do is just bend it back down. I would add a little adhesive to that and then I've got a nice finished envelope. Really simple, really easy to do. Uh, another thing that you can make with this, I'm going to take another piece of pistachio pudding, a full sheet. I'm going to line it up here and at the three inch mark I'm going to punch it. I'm going to flip it over and at the three inch mark I'm going to punch it. I'm going to do it the same on this side. Three inches. And three inches. And then I'm going to bring in my cutter. Okay, I'm going to bring in my cutter and I'm just going to line this piece of cardstock up um, Right there at the quarter, oh, I need to flip this over. I changed out the blade and I forgot to flip over the mat. So you need to do that when you're just using your regular blade and not your rotary blade. And then bring my cutter in and cut that one off. And go to this three inch mark and cut that one off. And then on the opposite side, I'm gonna do the opposite of that. So I'm just gonna cut out the middle piece. So I'm going to come in at the three inch mark and take it down to the five and a half inch mark like that. And then I'm going to take my simply score. Oh, I can actually use a blade on here. So I put the, the, this is going to be the top of a file folder and I'm going to add that to there and move that out of the way and then score it. And when I fold it, I have a great cute little file folder. Um, that you can make. I'll put up the measurements because you can also do the tabs that are on either side. And then what I do to finish it off is I just come in with my corner rounder on that envelope punch and go ahead and punch out make my corners rounded. Just gives it a finished look. But there's a cute little file folder that I can decorate and make something with. Um, I have some other projects here 
I'll show you. These these are file folders I did with craft card stock. There's one with the um, with the thing in the middle, and then I did one with it on the left hand side, and then you just do the exact same thing, only bend it around the other way to make it a right hand side. Um, lots of envelopes, all different sizes. You can do lots of different sizes of envelopes. I see this as a great way to use up some of my stash of DSP that I've got floating around. And then in the coming weeks here, I'm going to do a video on how to make these envelope scrapbooks. And they are really adorable, and they're done with the envelope punch kit, um, and then made into scrapbooks. So watch for that coming. And this is cute what I did. Uh, it's just a little 5x5 five five album. It's my daughter's trip to New York for her 18th birthday. Um, so, and it's got little pockets to put more pages and paraphernalia and things. So watch for that. If you haven't subscribed to me on YouTube, so you will, won't miss that tutorial. And also, if you haven't yet signed up for my newsletter, do that. It's at www.ddstamps.com. Thank you. Have a great day.